They start saying breaking news. There are riots, uh, revolting, people uh, going nuts. Uh, this is great. I gotta rile this up. Transformers, we want Transformers. We want Transformers. We want Transformers. We want Transformers. Down with Pixel Dan. Down with Pixel Dan. Down with Flavor Dan. Down with Flavor Dan. Down with Flavor Dan. We want Transformers. We want Transformers. Okay, they they want uh, Transformers reviews, and it looks like they're really uh, fighting to get Transformers reviews onto that new toy smell. And I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing that uh, Flava Dave has a statement, uh, an official statement on behalf of that new toy smell. Let's go to Flava Dave. We here at the Pop Culture Network are aware that a few malcontents are making a lot of noise about Transformers, but I assure you. The majority of our viewers are quite happy with Pixel Dan decreeing that this is a no Transformer zone. There are plenty of other little websites that are perfectly good for those Transformatrons, and we've decided to focus on quality toys here at the Pop Culture Network. There is no problem, there is no uprising, there is nothing to worry about. Be calm, all is well. Oh man, I can really get him going on this one. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's see if there's an update from the writers. We want Transformers. We want Transformers. We want Transformers. All right, we hey, want hey, guys, Transformers. Guys, we got him on the ropes. We, let's go. Let's go and fade. Come on, we can take over. Okay. All right. So the rioters are uh, storming. Pixel Dan's uh, Fortress of uh, Solitude, and so uh, we're uh, we're gonna go cover it live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Transformers! Yeah, Transformers. Oh, yeah, it's all yeah. about the Transformers. The house the Transformers. You never did on the Transformers. Transformers. Yeah, it's Transformers. Yeah. Woo! Take down the power. Take the power. All right, all right, guys, we did it. Yeah. We did it. All yeah. right, now. Now we can run Transformers review. So get your review. Let's run your review. Your Transformers review. This whole thing has been so we can run Transformer reviews. Where's your review? I don't have a review. Do you? Do you have a review? No, I don't have any Transformers. You don't buy I don't have any Transformers. I don't have any hey, Transformers. Hey guys, right now. guys, what? over oh. here. Hey, what's that? I got a Transformers oh. review oh. ready yeah, to go. Okay. Listen, no, that works. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. As I've mentioned in a few places recently, the end of 2010 saw me starting to get back into Transformers for the first time in over 20 years. Upon returning to the franchise, a new line called Power Core Combiners had recently been launched. Hasbro has seemingly left Nebulous where exactly in continuity the Power Core Combiners fit in, as a lot of the groups and individuals share names with G1 Transformers, while others seem to fall more in line with the live-action movie canon. Any way you stretch it, the only concrete backstory is that Power Core Combining is an ancient Transformers technology that was somehow rediscovered on Earth by the Autobots, and of course, stolen by the Decepticons. The Power Core Combiners do pretty much just that, combine. They consist of approximately Scout-class scale Transformers called Commanders, with three modes. They have the normal robot mode and vehicle or alt mode that one expects, nothing too outstanding by themselves really. Each commander, however, also has a third mode called power-up mode, in which they take the form of a torso and combine with four drone vehicles to form a larger scale robot. Now I know that all of the original combining transformers consisted of five or six individual transformers forming the big guy, but the power core combiners are much more simplified. The drones have no robot mode and are only capable of being vehicles or big robot limbs. The concept here in theory is actually pretty cool in that the way the drones are supposed to work is automatic transformation. When you have your commander in power up mode he has four protruding cubic blue pegs. Somewhere on each drone is a square shaped insertion point. 
When you insert the peg into the drone, it automatically transforms into one of the big robot's limbs. A limb can go on either the right or left side of a commander, but only in the anatomically correct place, as they are either an arm or a leg, never both. The Power Core Combiners are sold in one of two ways. First are the five packs of Power Core Combiner teams, including a commander and four drones. We've seen the Combaticons featuring Bombshock and his team of military vehicle drones, but there's also the Destructicons, consisting of Mudslinger and his team of heavy-duty vehicle drones. The Aerial Bots, made up of Skyburst and his team of air vehicle drones. And the Rally Bots, consisting of Double Clutch and his team of race car drones. The other way that the Power Core Combiners are sold are in two packs, consisting of Commanders, with what anyone who knows me knows will definitely make me a happy camper, little Minicon Partners. While the Commander works exactly the same way as those in the five packs, the Minicons have... Wait, where the... Minicons anywhere? I, I, I don't know what I did. <gasps> oh my god! How could she do this? Oh, oh god! I'm so sorry! While the commanders work exactly the same way as those in the five packs, the minicons <clears throat> the minicons have four different modes they can take to help their commander out. Aside from robot mode, they can transform into vehicle weapon, robot weapon, or power up armor. The first two waves of commander two packs consist of searchlight with backwind. Buffer with Caliburst Leadfoot with Pinpoint Smolder with Chopster Ice Pick with Chain Claw and Sledge with Throttler. Now here's where one of the perks of the Power Core Combiners lies. All Commanders are completely compatible with any and all drones and minicons. If you want to, you can hook the Combaticons up to Smolder instead of Bomb Shock, or attach the Rally Bots to Huffer rather than Double Clutch. And not only can you attach any Minicon to any Commander, but each drone has a PowerLink's plug, enabling Minicons to attach to them too. Of course, the line is not without its faults. For one, there's no denying just how awkward and ill-proportioned some of the large robots are. You've got arms of differing lengths and sizes, which is visually unappealing. Sometimes the legs don't quite balance out either, making standing your power core combiner up extremely difficult. Some of the other problems I have, I'm unsure whether they're universal or if I just got duds. I've experienced drones that won't pop into limb mode on their own. Wrong parts on mini cons and uncooperative commanders while in their power-up modes. I realize that this is not a line designed with collectors in mind, and it's not likely the kids would have too much problem with any of the aesthetics. However, I'm pretty sure kids still need to be able to transform the transformer without breaking it. There are other sets and commanders that have since come out or are on the way. 
Some of them are simply recolored figures with new names, but others are all new. For the price of around $10 for a 2-pack and $15 for a 5-pack, I guess I'm still interested enough to consider picking up a few of the newer ones, but I simply cannot wholeheartedly recommend the line based on my experience. But that's just my take. Transformers! We want Transformers! <laughs> <laughs> chum, 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 Transformers! <laughs>